Creating an evergreen webinar can be a game changer for businesses, providing a consistent way to engage audiences, generate leads, and sell products on autopilot. With ClickFunnels 2.0, the process has been streamlined, offering tools to help you create, automate, and scale your webinar with ease. In this guide, we'll break down each step so by the end, you'll have a fully functioning evergreen webinar ready to generate continuous results. In this video, we'll be showing you everything you need to know, so make sure to follow along by using the link down in the description when you're getting started with ClickFunnels. Other than that, let's get into this tutorial. The first step in creating an evergreen webinar funnel with ClickFunnels 2.0 is to ensure that you have the foundational pieces in place. This includes having a ClickFunnels account, configuring your SMTP settings, and integrating a payment processor like Stripe or Braintree. Having these basics set up ensures that you'll be able to handle automated email reminders and process any transactions related to your webinar. You'll also need to ensure that you have a webinar already recorded. Pre-recording the webinar allows you to fine tune the content and ensuring that you can easily create an evergreen funnel. We're going to focus entirely on the technical setup here. So having these elements prepared ahead of time will help you move through the steps so much more smoothly. The first technical step is to create a brand new funnel. This can be done by navigating to the funnel builder inside of ClickFunnels, but first let's show you how to get started with them in the first place. In order to get started with ClickFunnels, make sure you use the link down in the description. Once you click that link, you should be brought to a page that looks like this. As you can see, meet ClickFunnels, getting people to your website and turning them into happy paying customers is what we do best. And this is where we're gonna be building our evergreen webinar. The first thing you wanna do is enter in your email address and hit the start your free trial button. It'll then take you to the checkout page where you'll enter in your basic payment information and then you'll be ready to get started with ClickFunnels. Now, once you guys are inside of ClickFunnels, this is what it should look like. And like I said before, the first thing we're going to wanna to do is actually build a funnel in in the first place. So we're gonna to go to the top left here and click the funnels tab. Once we click the funnels tab, we'll then hit create funnel. Once we hit create funnel, we'll then have a couple of different things that we can choose from. We have things like lead funnels, unboxing funnels, presentation funnels, phone funnels, and other funnels. Now, because we're creating a webinar in this video, we're gonna to go to presentation funnels and click the webinar funnel. We'll go ahead and press the select button there, which will then take us to this page here. Now, one of the nice things about ClickFunnels is that they offer inbuilt guides that you can use to follow step-by-step -step on how to use every part of the software. Lucky for you, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of a specific way that actual real business owners are using right now when it comes to building webinars. That way you don't make any mistakes and you don't have any out-of-date information. All right, but we're gonna go ahead and skip this, scroll down here, and as you can see, we have a couple of different templates that we can choose from to get started with ClickFunnels. If we want to, we can also click this Start From Scratch button, but in my opinion, the easiest way to get started with an evergreen webinar is by simply just using one of the templates they already provide you with. As you can see, these all look pretty good, but I think I'm really feeling a favor towards this funnel right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Select Funnel button which will then install our new funnel and it should take just a few seconds to load everything up and get everything properly set up. Now specifically, we'll be creating a webinar replay funnel as this is the framework for every evergreen webinar. When setting this up, you wanna name your funnel something recognizable. This will help you keep your funnels organized, especially if you have multiple funnels running. It's also a good practice to assign group tags as these can help keep your funnels sorted and if you're managing more than one campaign at a time. Proper organization at this stage will save you a lot of time when it comes to the need to review or tweak your funnel later on. Once your funnel is created, it's time to assign templates to each page of the funnel. Click Funnels obviously offers, from what I just showed you, a variety of templates that you can customize. So you can choose one that fits your overall brand image. It's important to remember that while you can customize the templates, these templates are proven to work. So it's often best to use them pretty much at their starting point. After assigning templates, you can start refining your funnel by adding important elements like your order form and your order confirmation page. If your webinar is selling something, whether it's a product, a service, or a subscription, having the order form built into your funnel will streamline the purchasing process process. This is essential because keeping everything within ClickFunnels ensures that the automations and tracking will work cohesively. Setting up the order form is straightforward and simple. First thing we need to do is create a new step in your funnel and name it order form. And now in order to create that new step, once you're on the funnel editor page, we can simply click this little plus button here on any part of the funnel. We'll go ahead and put it at the very end here and click the plus button. As you can see, it's now prompting us with a few different things that we can choose from. We have the page that we can change here. We have a workflow, like a condition split path or a split test, but we're just gonna create a new page. Once we click the create new page button, it will then show us a couple of different things that we can choose from. We wanna select our order form here, so we're gonna to go to order 
and then pick any of these that have the order form option. Now, again, these all look great, but you kind of want to try to match it to the current funnel, the overall theme that you have currently. And really, you can choose just about any of these, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this two-step book page. I'm going to choose this, and then it will ask me to give my name, a description, and a page URL. Once we have all that filled out, I'll then hit create page. It'll take a few seconds to load everything up properly and put me into the right place. We now officially have that order form ready to go. The same goes for the order confirmation page. We'll then go ahead and hit the plus button, head over to page, head back to order, and then order confirmation. As you can see, these are our order confirmation templates we can choose from. I'm gonna pick any of these because it doesn't really matter too much. I personally like this one, so I'll hit the choose button. Once again, fill out all these details and then hit create page. One of the key aspects of setting up an evergreen webinar funnel is configuring your page paths. This is essentially the URL structure for each page within your funnel. If you have a custom domain or a subdomain set up in ClickFunnels, you can assign it to your funnel. Using custom domains not only helps with branding, but also lends you credibility to your funnel, which can positively impact conversions. It's a good practice to name your paths clearly so that you can easily identify each step of the funnel later on. For example, you might name your webinar registration page something like demo registration and append a variation label like A to help with split testing. This step is crucial because clearly defined URLs help avoid confusion, making the navigation smoother for both you and your attendees. Clear paths also ensure that your funnel functions correctly when people move from one page to the next. Now that your pages are set up and paths are configured, it's time to integrate some essential functionality like the hourly timer. The beauty of an evergreen webinar is that it creates the illusion of being at a live event, even though it's pre-recorded. To achieve this, you'll want to set up a timer that schedules the webinar to start at the top of each hour. This way, no matter when someone registers, they won't have to wait long to attend the webinar. By default, ClickFunnels allows you to set the webinar to start immediately or at a future date. But if you prefer to give attendees waiting time, perhaps to build anticipation or track conversions more effectively, the hourly timer is a pretty good option. Configuring the timer is done by adding a bit of custom code to your registration page, which you can find in ClickFunnels documentation page. Once the code is added, the timer will display how long until the next webinar starts, and this adds somewhat of a sense of urgency, encouraging users to actually stay on the page and sign up without leaving. For those who prefer more frequent webinars, ClickFunnels also offers the option to set a 15-minute timer through a third-party tool called CF Pro Tools. This paid tool allows you to run webinars every 15 minutes, which can increase the frequency of your presentations and potentially boost conversions. It's particularly useful for high-traffic funnels where you don't want people waiting long to attend. After setting that timer, you want to ensure that the offer you're pitching in the webinar appears at the right time. This involves setting up an offer display timer in the webinar broadcast room. ClickFunnels allows you to specify exactly when the offer should appear during the webinar. For example, if your pitch starts 45 minutes into the presentation, you would set the timer to trigger at the 45 minute mark. This ensures that the call to action button or offer details only appear when you want them to, creating a seamless flow from the webinar content to the sales pitch. A timed offer display is also an effective strategy because it limits distraction during the webinar while still making it easy for attendees to purchase when the time is right. By ensuring the offer appears precisely when it's needed, you avoid overwhelming attendees with too many options at once, which could dilute the message. Additionally, by syncing the offer display with your pitch, you make it easier for users to actually act on the impulse of leading to a higher conversion. It also is a good idea to set a button display timer that aligns with your offer presentation. This means that the buy now button or similar CTA will only appear at the precise moment you start talking about your offer. This button can link directly to your order form as well, which you've already set up earlier in the funnel. Once your timers are configured, it's important to turn your attention to automations. Once we hit the edit button, it will then take us into the actual control panel for the broadcast page. Once you're inside the broadcast page, there is a couple things we can do here, but we just wanna focus on the actual timer. So what's nice about this template is they already have a timer element already set up. We just have to hit the settings button here and we can start changing around what we want this timer to do and how long we want it to be. We can change things like the calendar event, the countdown, or make it evergreen. We can say the monthly time is actually weekly or even daily, and we can do it at a reset time of zero zero a.m. or any time that works for you. There's also the time zone, which can be Eastern Standard Time or Pacific Standard Time. And then we can also have a show button, which kind of shows or hides it. Uh, and also the hide button, which hides it or shows it, right? There's also the policy. We can show years, months, weeks, or days. But for this instance, we're just showing hours, minutes, and seconds. And then this will automatically run as people visit the page and they go to it. The next big thing we want to pay attention to is automations. Automations are the backbone of any evergreen webinar, and they allow you to engage with attendees automatically based on their actions. For instance, 
You can set up email sequences that are triggered depending on whether someone registers, attends the webinar, leaves before the offer is presented, or sees the offer but doesn't purchase. Each of these actions should prompt a unique follow-up sequence tailored to the specific behavior if somebody registers for the webinar but doesn't attend, you can also send them a follow-up email with a link to the webinar reply. If they attend but they don't stay long enough to see the offer, you can send them an email reminding them of the key points of the webinar and encouraging them to check out the offer. These automated follow-ups help maximize your chances of converting leads into customers as they allow you to address specific behaviors in real time. ClickFunnels built-in automations make this process straightforward, allowing you to set up trigger-based actions without needing any external tools. Beyond the automations tied to the webinar itself, it's also possible to integrate SMS notifications or other custom actions using tools like Twilio or ActiveCampaign. These integrations allow you to build more personalized automation sequences, ensuring that your audience feels engaged every step of the way. SMS notifications are particularly effective in reminding attendees about upcoming webinars, and personalized messages can have a significant impact on overall attendance rates. When setting up these automations, it's essential to use merge tags for personalization. These tags pull information from your attendees registration data such as their name or email and inserts it into your follow-up emails. Personalization significantly boosts engagement as people are more likely to open, read emails that feel tailored to them. Additionally, merge tags for webinar specific information such as webinar replay links or the time of the next available session, making it easy to create dynamic individualized emails for each attendee. The beauty of ClickFunnels 2.0 is that it not only simplifies the technical side of creating this webinar funnel, but it also is pretty much just a comprehensive set of tools that you can use to optimize your conversions. By using everything we talked about in this video, you should be able to create a beautiful, amazing looking evergreen webinar that consistently converts people over and over again, day after day, hour by hour, leading you to not really have to do much on your side of things besides wait for people to come to the webinar, visit it, watch through, and eventually take you up on your offer. If you guys have questions about how to build your very own webinar, and if you want to actually get started with doing so, definitely use the link down in the description and comment down below your questions. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss any of our future videos. Also, please keep in mind that if you use the links down in the description, they are affiliate links and it goes towards directly to supporting the channel. So thank you in advance for supporting us. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.